Oh, yeah, um, and if you didn't watch my last video, I'm blonde. I am the female reincarnation of Slim Shady. <laughs> Because my hair is so blonde and it bleached so much, actually, it completely turned out yellow and it was so bad. Oh my gosh. But because of that, I am going to give myself some low lights at home because if we can bleach it at home, we can give it low lights at home, right? I am not a professional at this. I went and bought a cap and some dye from the store because we're smart. This is just the cheap stuff. I did not read the directions on this. I don't really want to read the directions. I'm just going to make it up as I go. So we take this little bonnet thing and just... <gasps> did I just pop it? I already broke it. Now that we look like a pilgrim, try this thingy majigger do. And don't kill yourself. As of right now, I am ready for a takeoff. I don't really know what I'm doing. It's not coming out. Oh, oh, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. It's not grabbing anything. <coughs> is how big the pieces are supposed to be? I kind of look like an alien. <laughs> I really did not think about how I was going to get the back of this. This literally took an hour and a half to do. And I had to have my mom help me because it was too much work. I'm just ruining my hair. I might as well have a little fun. I'm gonna try and put freckles on my face with this whole thing, Majam. Probably not safe. Don't do this at home, but I'm gonna do it right now for you so you don't have to do it. Just don't be me. Where, 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 where did this even come from? the next day and your girl went to bed because <laughs> she was tired and long story short my hair kind of looks really cool so like the cap worked i mean like now my hair can grow and i cannot look like a monster except the fact that it is blotchy <gasps> oh shit we're just gonna cover that up and hope that it grows out nice because <laughs> oh well my hair is looking rough and so as you guessed we are going to be doing another hair video i'm going to be using this uh joyco color eraser color intensity and i'm going to go ahead and remove the color from it i'm going to start with the bottom i already did a test i did a little test strand if you can see where i put it on there for like just 10 minutes to see and it pulled the color out fine down here it didn't pull it out as much up here which i kind of expected so i'm going to pull it out of the ends as much as I can with the Joyco color remover and then I will let it dry, put conditioner in it and give it a nice mask and treatment and then tonight I will bleach, I know, I can't believe I'm saying this, I'm going to bleach this portion and tone it out. I might do a shadow root in there eventually but probably in the next day or two after I've done the bleaching and giving it a rest then I'll look at it, see how it's looking and then if I want to I'll do a shadow root. So. Let's go ahead and be, oh my gosh, I'm regretting it already, guys, I'm regretting it already. Uh, oh, sorry hair, sorry hair, sorry hair, sorry hair, sorry hair, sorry hair, oh, I know. This 
this is after about 15 minutes. It's evenly uneven, <laughs> if that makes sense. It does kind of ombre down from the dark roots, kind of like into a mauvey color, down into almost a platinum color down at the very tips. So, I mean, it'll be an interesting one to see how it washes out. It's certainly not going to look good, but it might have done what I expected it to do and I just hadn't given it enough time. I don't know, we'll see. Well, this is our starting point. So what I'm gonna do is take this together and do my roots and then I'm gonna have what's left of that batch and I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of shampoo to do a bleach bath to do this portion from here to here and leaving the ends out. So I'm gonna do the roots with bleach here to here with a bleach bath and then leave the ends out. Through two different trials. I've tested out putting some more of the Joyco color remover on where is it? this strand here and as you can see it did nada. Absolutely nothing. No change. Then I did toner with just a 10 developer on Let's see, a developer on this piece, and as you can see, it has definitely toned down the orange a little bit. So what I'm going to do is do a shadow root in here, cover up this portion here, and then tone the rest of it out. I'll show you guys my goal, but I doubt that that's where we're going to get. So... Oh boy. So obviously, it didn't turn out the way I wanted. You can see by my face that I'm pretty annoyed. My roots are really dark and the ends are really light and there's absolutely no blending in between or what is also called color melting. And so that is something that I did wrong. So time to fix. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of let it dry, see how it looks naturally, see if it still curls, look for the integrity of the hair, make sure that it's still in decent shape or as decent as it can be. And then I'm going to go ahead and butcher it again with, I don't know, eight more processes. So stay tuned. It is the next day. My hair's dry. I did the shadow root to it. It's, God, it looks so orange in this light, but in person, it just kind of looks like a rose gold kind of like it it looks like it just fades into like rose gold and then the ends are kind of platinum-y um i do need to tone it i just didn't want to tone the ends or do anything to it right now i wanted to look at what the condition of my curls were looking like um just to kind of see the back oh god you guys i have decided to go ahead and try to do the color eraser again i got another shipment in and so I wanted to try to go up to the higher portions where there's still a little bit of that red ish orangey color holding on and then I'm going to try to pull out as much of the pigment as I can up to that area where that banding was. After I put the Joyco in it didn't really do much it just lightened the ends a little bit more um, so I put some toner on it to see if that would help with the orangeness around the banding. As you can see here, it did not. The purple wouldn't even color how bright orange that was, and I gooped and soaked it on those particular areas and almost no change. After the Joyco didn't really do much, I decided to do a blend of T18 and T10 of a Wella toner with a 10 volume. I left it on for 20 minutes, which is longer than I ever leave toner on because my hair hates toner. I could bleach and dye my hair 50 times it's so thick, it doesn't really do much, but when I put toner on it, that's what melts it. I don't know what the heck it is 
I've tried other toners too and the only one that really works for color wise for my hair is the Wella however it damages it so much so at this point I start seeing a little bit of damage coming through to the ends. you can see it's getting a little stringy looking so I'm getting concerned I do a protein treatment later so stay tuned for that but at this point I'm just kind of going through it thinking okay it looks all right it looks kind of decent the color looks kind of nice so I'm happy with everything except this little halo portion here that frames my face I can, I'm totally fine with the rest of this can all stay, I don't care. But I am going to do a protein treatment on this using, using this and then I will touch up and do something with this portion here as long as it doesn't break off. But protein treatment needs to come first. So I'm going to wet this and then go ahead and throw the treatment in. Kind of run a straightener through my hair really quickly to see what it looks like and I hated it. I hated what it looked like straightened. I could see those e orangey tones up in the top that just kind of came down that brassiness. So I decided to try this Beyond, Beyond the Zone radical color remover thing from Sally's. It was like a cheap thing because I was out of my Joyco and I was like all right let me put it around this portion around the front the money piece you know that I didn't like. I tested on this little piece by my hair and it didn't do anything. Total waste. So I bleached it. That's right, guys. I just went in with a little 10 volume develop or ten, yeah, 10 volume developer and a little bit of bleach, and I just went on those roots again. I know, stupid decision. And this is what it looked like. I toned it out, and it looks way whiter than the rest. I I don't know. I look like a freaking crackhead, guys. So I'm trying to pin down these little fried pieces because yeah, there was some damage. I did not get out of this unscathed. My hair is so damaged. I wish it would still curl. It does not. But as you can see here, those little fried bits are sticking out and how uneven and everything looks. I've really screwed it up this time, guys. I've never done such a bad job of my hair. I don't know what happened. I wish I could say I stopped here and I let it grow out. But as you can tell, there's still some time left on this video. So if you keep watching, you'll notice that I kept going. If you haven't already figured it out yet, I'm clearly not a professional. I go to YouTube University whenever I need to find out what to do with my hair. So after watching many a many a videos of color melts and blending and balayages and shadow roots, etc., I'm going in with this technique. I'm starting with the darker one, which I already had the uh, 6N at the top, but there were spots that I missed, so I'm just kind of going in and enriching that and making sure that my roots also took that in because some of my roots look lighter than that too it was weird so i'm doing that and then i'm using a comb to blend in that eight uh eight ash color so i'm using the comb to kind of just blend it down blend it down and at the very 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 end i'm kind of scooping in a little bit of toner onto the ends again all right let's hope it came out well well I'm hopeful. I'm surprised it got to this point and my hair hasn't fallen out, but it's still there, guys. So she had told me that she wanted bangs, and what, what kind of bangs were you thinking? Maybe like the front fringe. The front fringe? Okay. Yeah, the front fringe, yeah. yeah. And like, I'm oh, wow. not a hair professional, mm -hmm. obviously, but I, I watched one YouTube video two okay. times. All right. I'll save it for my love letter. Okay, don't look up, look down, because you're going to freak out with the scissors. Okay, nothing. I just said uh, I didn't finish all the way. No, it's okay. I thought I could do it in one shot, like he did. Oh my gosh. That's not too bad. <laughs> Let me see. That's not too oh bad. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, there's some random... Can I can I clean that up a little? Yeah, also you can like point cut. What is... Oh yeah, he said mm -hmm. not to do that though. Oh really? Yeah, oh. like for a straight bang. Oh, I only watched okay. one video, so everyone's oh, no. technique is different. I mean, I read a book, but that's something oh, else. Shit. Okay, so... <laughs> I think I'm going to cut it too short, which is surprising. But, uh... I mean, like, I think it'll look better if I style it. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, Sha. Fails should be included because everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> Wait, I think it looks good. It's just a little bit crooked. <laughs> Look what I got, guys. That's all right. Oh, crap, it's falling. I went to right. a blunt. <laughs> you think it's shorter on this side? Yeah, you're right. It is shorter on this okay. side. Okay. Remember, a little goes a long way. Is that better? Um, do you think we should straighten them to see, or? There's a little, it's a little bit longer here. Okay. Just cut off a little bit, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you think I should curve it when I straighten it or? Might as well. Okay, I'll, I'll do a very slight curve. Tell me if it's too hot. Too hot? No. Okay. I just started heating it up, so maybe not. Curve it just a little. Okay, how'd that go? Sure, I think I, I feel like burn up from wow wow wee. Oh my gosh. Does anyone know who that is? I wonder. Yeah. I All right, how'd you like it? I think I like it.